please don't mind my companion here. The addictive personality is a blessing. If used properly, this addictive personality that you have is able to propel you to the highest heights. Every high achiever has an addictive personality. They have just somehow spun that addiction to a productive end. So if we look at one realm, which is kind of simple, but maybe that'll get the point across best. MMA and the UFC specifically, and I'm sure Bellator and the rest of the organizations, boxing, kickboxing, all of martial arts is filled with guys. Not all of them, but a lot of them are self-proclaimed alcoholics. They were drug addicts. They had no direction in their life. They were very extreme in a negative type of way. Like, let's just mention Alex Pereira from Brazil, Potan, who is now the um, champion, I forget, light, light heavyweight, but he was in a bar drinking. This is how the story goes. He was in a bar drinking. And his old nemesis from kickboxing, Israel Adesanya, said, yeah, talking about the one dude that ever beat him. So, yeah, he's probably in a bar getting drunk right now, doing nothing with his life. And that had enough spark to get him to want to start you know, fighting in the UFC. And now he's, he's won two division championships. So all of this long-winded explanation to say UFC champions are – have literally been alcoholics in their life or they are they have really high potential to be an alcoholic and the same thing goes for movie stars you ever seen a rock star how they get so super famous and then they start going to drugs or why is it never that the local librarian who sits in a nice quiet library all day is secretly addicted to meth because they don't have the potential to be a rock star. Look, I'm not taking a crap on, on librarians. I'm just saying to be a drug addict and be able to go that far in the wrong directions means you can equally go that far in the right direction. For these people that live more milder lives, they don't have that same upside. So that's what I'm trying to say is the superpower within you if you have a tendency to abuse substances, entertainment, gambling, um, the list goes on. If you have a tendency to abuse and take something negative to a very far extreme, it means you, on the flip side, you also have the potential to take something positive to a very far extreme. And one of the easiest ways that you can begin not eliminating your, your addictions. We just want to realign your addictions with something that's going to benefit you. I'll say it right now. I am addicted to the gym. I am like an addict. And a lot of people that go to the gym frequently do become like addicts to the gym. Like they don't feel the same without it. They can't stop. Even when it's to a detriment if they're overtraining or... You may all the signs of being an addict, but it's some productive. And if you can get a, a little bit more discipline and self-control, you can stop yourself from going overboard. And the same thing goes for workaholics or any people who end up doing something very extreme just in a positive manner. They have the potential to be a, an addict in a negative manner as well. So... If you're trying to replace your addictions, getting into fitness is an amazing first step because it's going to offer a similar boost of good hormones and good chemicals in your brain, just like any addiction does. And if you can get through the initial part, like if you've ever started chewing tobacco, it's never fun at first. And the gym's not going to be fun at first either. But like it tastes bad, but once you get addicted, then you don't care. The taste disappears. So that's how the gym will be. 
and that's how your fitness journey will be or running or something of a similar nature. Like, that's a reason that I am so obsessive about tracking all my food, going to the gym very religiously, thinking about it, visualizing it, is because my brain wanted something to just dig its teeth into really in a really extreme manner. And in regular life, I couldn't really find anything, especially being a younger kid when I was partying and doing stuff like that. I couldn't find anything to dig my teeth in, so I found myself indulging in stuff that is not beneficial for me. Substances, behaviors, going out on weekends, getting you know binge drinking, and these didn't serve me. So replacing that momentum from going in that direction to a, a direction that serves me, you know, the gym is obviously serving you more than going out drinking is, you're just going to make crazy, crazy advancements in your life. So I hope that was made sense and hope maybe that inspired someone to take action in a positive direction because they have, you have a superpower if you're an addict, believe it or not.